Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming an ASOS try-on haul video. Um, something a little bit different to what I usually do. Whenever I've filmed hauls in the past, I've literally just showed you guys what I've bought and that is it. But I thought today I would switch things up step up my game, make the video a little bit more interesting for you and do a try on ASOS haul. So I have got this big bag of goodies that arrived in the post this morning and then I've also got three or well four including what I'm wearing now, four other bits that I have picked up recently as well from ASOS that I thought I would just chuck in the same haul because it's all still available online. I'm going to try and leave links to everything. Blah. I'm going to try and leave links to everything down below in the description bar if you're interested in any of the bits I show in this video. But yes, um, I'm going to get on with the video and I hope you enjoy it. So before I forget, the first thing I'm actually going to be showing you is the dress that I've got on. It is just a black um, sort of... What's the name of it? My mind's gone blank. I can't remember the name of this style of dress, but it's basically just a black uh, petite dress. Um, I'm going to show you in the try-on section, so you can see it a bit better there. But ever since I got this, I have been wearing it so much. My mum has literally just washed it and put it back in my wardrobe, and I put it on to film this video because I love it so much. So here's the little clip of me trying it on for you. This is the dress that I showed, um, so yeah, it's from the petite section, it's just like a cute little baggy dress that's really easy to wear every day. I'm not normally a dress kind of person, but I really, really like it. It's like a perfect length on me, um, super comfy, and it's just got a nice v-neck to it, which again isn't something I usually go for, but I do really, really like it, so this is the dress. The next thing I have got is this pair of trousers which I am in love with. I've also got these in black, but they're currently in the wash so I couldn't show you. Um, but they look like this and they are also from the petite section. They're really, really small at the top. The waist looks absolutely tiny, look at that. But they are very stretchy, so they do stretch. Um, and they basically are just long trousers and then they flare out at the bottom. And I have been obsessed with flary things at the moment. I've bought so many pairs of flared trousers. It is actually ridiculous. And these are really affordable as well. I think they're about £18 or something. So pretty, pretty good price. Um, yeah. These are the burnt orange trousers. I've literally been wearing them all of the time since I bought them. Only issue is they do give you like slight camel toe issue. Um, but I've just been wearing them mostly with a long top. But yeah, I absolutely love them. They're like the perfect length for me. And they just flare out at the bottom. Only thing is they are kind of see-through. Like right now I've got them on with some pants that you can sort of see through the trousers. But you just have to wear them with like black or nude pants. Um, but yeah, I love them. And I've just been pairing them with like crop tops or a long top if you want to cover the like belly situation but yeah I absolutely love them and I've got them in black as well next I have got this pajama set which again I have been loving I've had so much luck with ASOS recently it's weird but these are again from the petite section they do also do most of these things in normal so this isn't just for petite people um, and these are a pair of pajamas now these are again very high-waisted humongously flared leopard print pyjama bottoms and they're like a silky really lightweight feeling uh, material and they're just gorgeous and then they come with this top uh, which says stay wild on it it's just a t-shirt with a little printed writing on um, and I have actually spilt some of my breakfast down the top so that needs to go for washing. These are literally the ultimate favourite pyjamas I have ever bought um, I literally love them like I said they're just high-waisted leopard print very long baggy trousers and then the top just says stay wild and it's also got some nice bits of strawberry down here for my breakfast so that's nice but yeah absolutely love these and they're super comfy love them okay now for the fun part um i'll just give you like a little background of what I've been buying. So I'm going on holiday on the 30th of August. Me and Alex are going away to Mallorca, which I'm very excited about. And I basically just thought I need a new a new bikini or two or three maybe. So I've ordered quite a few bikinis in here. Um, I then also picked up a few bits that were just in the sale that I really liked that I thought I'd wear on holiday. And again, just some more holiday surrounded clothes and I have spent a lot of money and I'm probably not going to keep all of this stuff but I thought you know what I'm just going to order a load of stuff try it all on uh, you guys get to see some of it as well and then yeah I will just send back the bits that I don't really like but I will show you the bits 
that I'm sending back as well and I'll just tell you when I try them on because obviously I haven't tried any of this stuff on yet so I'm going to open it up on camera and then try it on and show you guys and let you know if I'm keeping it or not. So the first thing we've got are these pair of trousers. I actually picked these up in the sale. Uh, they are petite. Again, they probably do them normal. All the trousers I buy are petite because I'm so short, so I apologise for that. Um, but yeah, these were in the sale for £11, so I thought, why not? I'm loving stripy trousers at the moment. They're basically just these, like, cotton feeling. They actually look like pyjamas. Um, stripy, sort of candy-striped pastel big wide leg baggy trousers and I thought these would look really cute on the beach like over a bikini so like if you just want to have like your bikini top on and then you want to have trousers covering your bottom half I think they're quite see-through so you'll definitely like see your bikini through them which is fine by me and then I thought because they're in the sale even if I don't get much wear out of them on holiday um I'll wear them as pajamas like at home or you could pair them with some heels and like a little crop top um but yeah that is those I'm excited to see what they look like these are the striped trousers on um I'm not sure how I feel about them I was expecting them to be a bit baggier but they are super tight like look how tight they are on my bum um they're perfect length though and I do really like them and they did only cost me 11 pounds but I feel like I'm more likely to wear these as like pyjamas rather than like on the beach or in the evenings I don't know I need to like pair them with a few other bits and see how I feel but right now I'm not really I'm not too sure about them they are nice but again they give you a bit of a camel toe situation which is never fun next up I have got a bikini now I was very excited about this and I still am but I'm slightly apprehensive that it's not going to look right on me because I really didn't like the bottom half so the top looks like this as you can see I'm loving stripes at the moment um it's just a, oh my god it's so cute it looks a bit big though like quite wide um I have no boobs so it's really hard to like buy bikinis online I have no boobs and then I have quite a big bum so it's really difficult to actually get one that fits me um but this is from monkey I believe yeah monkey this is an extra small top I've never ordered anything from monkey before but I just saw the stripes and I was like I love it it's like orange and pink stripes and I'm loving anything stripey at the moment so I've got that and then the matching bottoms are high-waisted which I wasn't sure about because I feel like they're not very flattering on your bum like they can make your bum look a bit saggy, can't they? Um, these are also in an extra small, but they're quite tight. I don't know. We'll see how they look on. Okay, so this is the striped bikini from Monkey. Um, it's got the like labels stuck to it still, but I can't take them off, so it looks slightly weird. Um, but I really, really like the top. It kind of like it squishes my boobs, but in a good way. Like it actually kind of makes me look like I have boobs. But as I thought, um, I really don't like the bottom halves. I just don't think they're very flattering. Like they look okay from the front, but because they're so tight, they just kind of like, they suck you in and they make your kind of lumpy bumpy bits stick out. And also they are very unflattering um, on the bum. They kind of like make it stick out funny. So yeah, uh, I don't think I will be keeping this, but it's a shame because I really like the top. So I might maybe send the bottoms back um and keep the top and just pair it with like plain black bottoms or something i don't really know but yeah i'm not a massive fan of the bottom half okay next we have got a little top oh my gosh why is there two they've sent me two i only ordered one. Oh, that's weird uh maybe i did accidentally order two have a look. Oh, I ordered two apparently. Didn't mean to do that. Send one of those back. Uh, they're both the same size. This is size six. Uh, it's from Miss Selfridge, and I just saw this. It's very unlike me to buy something floral and girly and pretty. Um, as you probably know if you regularly watch my videos, I just like black and lots of plain things and not much colour um, but I saw this and I just thought it was so cute and I basically <laughs> I went to watch Mamma Mia 2 the other day before I did this ASOS order so a lot of things in here I was kind of like oh my gosh I can imagine like being in a Greek island and Mamma Mia wearing this and all of the outfits they wore in that film were just amazing and it made me feel really inspired to like buy new clothes so I feel like a lot of this is inspired by that so there's this top here which is really cute it's like a little tie up 
at the front top, uh, does it actually fully tie up? Yeah, this is what I like about it. So you can fully undo the top and literally just retie it yourself to see how tight you want it. So I'm excited for that. I probably won't wear a bra under it, so who knows how that will go because I've got no tits, but we'll see. That one was £18. It is petite, but they probably do it in normal as well. Um, don't need two of those, though, do I? A very quick no for this one. If you're wondering why my hair's up, I forgot about this. Just tried it on. Mm-mm. Gross. Okay, next is another bikini. We got the bottoms here for No. Okay. The one thing I find really difficult about bikinis... What was I even going to say? I completely forgot. Oh well, that's weird. Oh my god, what the heck is this? That's a bikini bottom, apparently. Interesting. Okay, you tie it up yourself. That bit is so small. Mm, this could be interesting. This is basically a spotty tie-up bikini, but I appear to have lost the top half. What is this? Um, they've sent me a men's shirt. What the hell? I've never had an ASOS order that's been wrong. But so far they've sent me two of the wrong, two of the same top and not the bikini top for these. And then they've sent me a men's grey shirt instead of a beach cover up. It's got the right label on it. It says ASOS beach shirt with open back tie UK4. Well, this isn't. This is a small men's grey t-shirt with a weird skull on it. God's sake. The one time I film an ASOS haul and they've messed up my order. Right, well, this is going great so far, isn't it? I'm sure you're loving this. Um, well, it appears that I don't have a top to go with that one, so that's just great. Let's hope I actually have another bikini in here. Right, this is meant to be a burgundy bikini. And again, here are the bottoms, but I don't know where the top is. Oh, these look quite big. Which way round do they go? That way. Oh, okay, they're very high-waisted. My God. Okay, interesting. These are misguided, uh, just like burgundy bottoms. But again, I don't know where the top is. God's sake, ASOS, you had one job. Right, I know I ordered that. Oh my gosh, they've sent me two of that as well. Oh, they really have messed up this order, haven't they? What else am I going to find in here? Okay, here's the misguided bikini top. Um, oh, I can never get into these. Ugh. Okay, bikini top. I can't even remember what this one looks like. Oh, yeah, it's a tie-up one, but... Oh, I thought you could actually fully undo it. Oh, no, you can. You can. Okay, this is what I wanted. I wanted a bikini top that you can, like... Oh. No, you can't fully tie it yourself. It, oh, this is a disaster. Okay, well, it's a little tie-up burgundy bikini top, but I thought you could undo the whole thing and make it really tight to, like, pull your boobs in. But obviously not, but I'll have to see how that one looks. I got it in a four, um, and I got the bottoms in a four as well. Or did I get them in a six? Yeah, four. So, there's the red burgundy one. Let's see how that looks on. So I'm not sure how I feel about this bikini. Um, I really, really like the top half. I feel like it's quite flattering for somebody who has really small boobs. Like, I don't know, it just, it fits really well and I really like the way that it ties up. However, the bottoms, I, again, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about these, but they're just not very flattering. Like, they're super high-waisted and they look okay from the front and the side, but the back, I don't really want to show too much because it's very revealing, but they are just super, like, high-waisted and they literally show, like, all of my bum and then they're really, really baggy in this, like, middle section. Um, so I will be sending the bottoms back, but I don't know because I do really like the top, so it's quite hard. I feel like I'm going to end up keeping loads of bikini tops, but then sending loads of the bottoms back just because they just, they just don't look right. 
Okay, so I ordered this, which was in the sale. It was really cheap, and I just thought, good old basic. Um, it is a black bodysuit. I just thought that would look really cute with like jeans or something. It was really, really cheap in the sale and I haven't got anything like that and I'm always wanting to wear like a black vest top. I know that these are pajamas, um, but I have just put on the bodysuit and finally I really, really like it. It's just a nice little basic. Um, it goes all the way down like a proper bodysuit, but I've just popped some trousers on with it. It's a really nice shape, um, nice flattering sort of circular neck at the top and then the back fits really nicely as well. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this just for like a nice little staple so this is a really really sheer um black beach cover-up and it's just got like a low v-neck at the front and then it ties in well sort of goes in tighter at the waist with elastic and then it's just see-through at the bottom and i just thought i needed something like that to wear on the beach for my holiday because i feel like we're going to be spending a lot of time at the beach so i ordered that one i really quite like this one i think um it's a bit more Kind of like what I had in mind for a cover up, although although it is quite see through. Obviously, with this bikini, like the whole of my bum is on show, but the bikinis that I'm going to be taking with me probably won't be like that. So I'm hoping um, it will look a bit better. I really like the way this one fits at the top, though. Like it's got a really flattering kind of neckline. Um, I'm just not sure how I feel about the bottom bit. I just don't know. I'm just not liking anything. This is not good. And then I also ordered this beach cover-up, which is a shirt. Um, now, this is very weird because they have put the correct label on it, but they've also put this correct label on a men's shirt, which I didn't order. So there's a few of my things missing, which is great. Um, this is, again, another beach cover-up. It's more of a shirt style, but I had never seen anything like this before. And I just thought it would stop me from getting too burnt on the beach. Oh, it's very creased. Um, but, yeah, it's just like a... A basic white shirt it's quite see-through and quite thin which I like and then at the back it's open and you can tie it up to make it sort of tighter and looser um, it's from the petite section again because I wanted it to fit me I didn't want it to be really long actually is it from the petite this isn't from the petite section though so I'm worried it might be a bit long um, it looks like a decent length though so we'll see how that one looks Firstly, this definitely needs an iron. Um, secondly, I just really don't know. I feel like I'm not having much luck with this haul. So I really like the way the shirt looks from the front. You can kind of have it like unbuttoned or buttoned up depending on how you feel. I've rolled up the sleeves as well just to make it a little bit more my style. Um, also, I tried on the spotted bikini bottoms and they're a no-no. They're horrible at the back. Um, but yes, yeah, so you sort of tie this up and then <laughs> it's so strange at the back. So at the back, you tie it up. But look, you literally have the whole of your bum out. Like, it's a very weird design. Um, it did, it did like, have that on the, the website, but it didn't look as open. I don't know if I need to, like, fiddle around with it. I might go downstairs and get my mum to kind of, like, try and retie it so it, my whole of, the whole of my ass isn't hanging out because that's just not, that's not okay. I don't want to be walking around the hotel on holiday or the beach with, like, basically the whole of my bum out. It's not very classy. And then the last thing is this swimming costume. Uh, they've sent me two, but I only ordered one. They sent me literally two in the same size, but then they haven't sent me the bikini top for the spotty bikini, so that's annoying. But this is a swimming costume, and I've never seen anything like this. It was in the sale, and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to get it. From the back, it looks like a bikini. It's really cool. It's got like a strip, like a sort of strip going across the back. And then at the front, it's just pink, and it crosses over, and it's just really cute. And I think grey and pink goes really nicely together. And so I'm going to try that one on, and hopefully if that fits, I can wear that to the beach. So I've got the swimsuit on. It's very, very small. Um, I ordered this in a four, which would normally be my correct size um however it was very very tight to get on it's okay now it is on it's very revealing um but it does actually make me look like i have boobs so i'm enjoying that part of it um i just don't know how i feel in general like it is quite revealing it's nice at the back like it does really show a lot of my bum i feel like this is quite inappropriate um i just can't really show you the back but it looks more like a bikini can you see it looks really nice from the back. Um, I do really like it. I just don't know if it's if it's a little bit too tight. I don't know. And it keeps doing this. Like, this part keeps flipping this way. Like, it needs to stay like that. I don't know. 
uh, I'm not sure how I feel. It's very confusing. I hate trying to find swimming costumes and bikinis. I find it very, very stressful. Um, so yeah, that is everything I ordered. It's not because they sent me a lot of the wrong things. Um, this is very annoying. Very annoying. I'm gonna have to phone them up, I think, and be like, oi, what are you doing? You sent me the wrong stuff. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it. It's just a shame that ASOS messed up so much of my stuff. I'm now probably gonna have to spend the rest of the day on the phone to them trying to fix it. Um, but yeah, let me know down below in the comments what you've been loving at the moment, kind of fashion wise. And also give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next week with another video. Goodbye.